So let me take you around the USB. Now your USB, when you get it, will look slightly different to mine just because all I've got is the files on an old USB, all right? So we'll get to the stage where you need to be at pretty quick and then you'll see what I see. So if we go to retrieve data, and this works on every single scan and cut that we've ever sold at Create and Craft, you go into your USB and you go into your USB contents, okay? You've got your backing papers, You've got your bespoke patterns, which we'll talk about in a little while. And then you've got a folder of bonus embellishments. So this isn't about giving you all the decorative frilly bits to decorate the boxes, but we've done some of those for you as well as a bonus, which is great. So if I go, first of all, I'm going to do the octagon box because that's the sample that I've just shown you. So if we go into here, you will see you have three different categories. So let's start with the builder box. So the builder box is the simplest format to cut a box and build it, all right? If you just want to cut a basic blank box, decorate it your own way, this is the way to do it. And what we've done is I'm gonna to talk to you about um, a graphic design term called a net. And when they design a box, they will put all the shapes on their screen and then they will do basically what we would do, which is weld them all together and then put the score lines in so that you can fold the box. That, as a finished file, is called a net in the graphic design world. So if you hear me talking about that, that's what I mean, okay? So for example, on this screen now, you've got the net of the base of the box and you've got the reinforcement piece or the strengthener piece to go on the base. And you would then literally just put tape on your tabs and build that base. If I just set this onto the mat, however, and I'm just going to go back to a 12 by 12 mat because I was working on a 12 by 12 yesterday, you can see that the only, if I, even if I move that over there, you can only expand it so much on a 12 by 12 mat. And the size of the net depends on the box that we're cutting. So yes, you can still resize it and yes, you can make it smaller. And that's what you would do with that net. But as soon as that file hits the edge of the mat, you can't go any bigger. So the next section that I'm going to show you is then all about resizing. Okay, so that's the, the builder box, basic box, net, all one piece, one piece for the lid, one piece for the base, your reinforcers or your strengtheners, that's what you cut, you build that box. Okay, so the next category is that net, but broken apart. So if I go back into here and go back into the octagon box, I'm gonna talk you through this one. So the builder box resize files, you still have the nets, but when I bring these on, so let's bring on the box base net, it's all separated out. So you've got the actual base, the eight sides, and the reinforcer. Now, if I put those onto my screen, and I'll put those into a pile on top of each other by going to edit and multiple select everything that's on the mat and press OK and then put them in a pile by going into the alignment function and aligning them centrally vertically and centrally horizontally and then I group them together by going to object edit and group and it will be slightly different on a CM machine but you will know how to do that on yours. Then I have a much bigger space to be able to resize that out, okay? So it means that I can make the base of the box more or less as big as the mat, which is fabulous. So it gives you more resize files. It also means that if you wanted to make the sides taller, you could do. So you could take your octagon box from being that deep to being that deep. So that gives you more creativity and more options but you have to do a bit more work and I'm going to teach you what that work is in a few minutes but I also think that by asking you to do a bit more work I am asking you to get used to using your scan and cut because it's really important it's okay buying a USB and plugging it in and everything just cuts out but how do you then move up and grow with that machine you've invested a lot of money in a scan and cut and I want you to get every last, last penny's worth of value out of that machine and that's why I'm teaching you and doing all this education with you. So that's the resize files. Now let me talk to you about the resize pattern panels. So when we go back into the USB 
and I'm going to go back into my octagon box. We've got the nets in the resize files. So you've got the nets and you've got the net for the lid and the net for the base. Then you've got your decorative edge panels. So you've got what would be the white layer on this box. That's your decorative edge panel. So anything that's white on here is the decorative edge mat, okay? So when you're resizing, I'm gonna show you how to resize everything. You're gonna bring those on as well. The most important thing that I need to show you are these pattern panels. So if you want to make the box that is the picture, the photograph that's in the booklet, you will bring on those panels and it will make exactly that box that's in that booklet, okay? Because we've put the patterns in those panels for you already. So it's easy, all right? If you never wanna go near Canvas Workspace, you can still make 30 boxes, but the boxes will only have the patterns on that we've allocated to those boxes in the booklet. Okay, so you've got your builder box, which is your basic, and then you've got your next level, which is your resize files. That's what that looks like. So I'm gonna show you how to resize in a minute, but I want to go through the third category with you. When we go into the USB again, and USB contents, and go back down to the octagon box, we're then gonna go into the pattern select box, and this is where you are in control. So I'm gonna click on this, the nets are exactly the same as the resize files. The decorative edges are exactly the same as the resize files, but your pattern panels are blank. So what I've got the team to do is do the size of the panel and then an outward offset line. And I'm gonna show you how to use those at the end of this education because I wanna do the resizing first. But that means that you can then put any pattern in any panel on any box from this USB, okay? That's really exciting, isn't it? And it, it's not difficult either. And I suddenly had this thought one morning when I was looking at the mood board we put together for the USBs and I thought, right, do I want that box masculine? Do I want that one feminine? Do I want that for children? And I thought, do you know what? If we just do patterns and boxes and I teach the customer, you lovely lot sitting watching this, how to do it, that opens up this whole new world of creativity and it's super simple to do, all right? So I'm gonna pause there, I'm gonna get the resize ready and then I'm gonna show you how to resize your files.